Hi, I'm Adam Rossin with the Rossin Law Firm, Criminal and DUI Defense. And in this video, we have my son doing his American Ninja Warrior type activities at his kid's gym called Kid Strong. And as he's doing it on the balance beam, I couldn't help but think to myself, hey, this looks like what our clients do during the field sobriety exercises, specifically the walk and turn. And the way that my son's doing it is quite often the way our clients look. And really it goes to show just how ridiculous this walk and turn exercise is. But when you go ahead and you, you look at Chase, here he is, he's supposed to be going heel touching toe on the balance beam. And what does he do? He falls over, right away falls over, lands on his hands, gets right back up. And is he going heel to toe? No. So that's another pointer. That's another thing that um, our clients do wrong. He raises his arms for balance. That's another thing that our clients are not supposed to be doing during the walk and turn. Then he takes a few more steps and instead of turning around and doing it again, he just hops right off on two feet, lands again, and then the video cuts out. Now, if he was on the side of the road to perform the, the field sobriety exercises, right, the walk and turn in this instance, he would 100% be arrested for DUI. So it goes to show should you do this or not, right? Remember, there's no legal penalty for refusing to do the, these physical exercises. You will not lose your driver's license if you say to the officer, no thank you. But you probably will be arrested if you refuse. But then again, if you perform them and you perform them like my son, you're gonna get arrested and now the prosecutors are gonna have a mountain of evidence against you. So consider that when you're on the road and the officers are trying to bully you or pressure you into doing these field sobriety exercises.